What you're doing is trying to bring everyone together in these difficult times. What is a clarion call to the region? Because what we have to do is uh, help each other in times like this, and uh, I, for one, welcome it. And it, it, it mirrors, in effect, Northern Development Company all those years ago, when the region was in trouble before this, and the private and public sectors got together, and we had the most successful investment company in the region. What you're doing today, in a sense, in a way similar to that. We have to get people working together. We have to basically help each other. If we don't, then I think basically a lot of people will go to the wall. I've, I'm 76 now and I've lived through three of these recessions. And the one thing you have to believe when you're in the private sector is that you're going to come through it. This one today is deeper and more sudden than any of the other ones. So it's probably going to have a more lasting effect a deeper effect and a lot of mamas and papa businesses now are going to the wall and uh, unfortunately there's nothing we can do to help those in the short term. It takes time in effect to get the investments which governments are doing working a couple of years to get through so for the next basically two years it's going to be very very difficult for all of us but we have to survive we will survive and I know from this the people in the private sector are very very resilient and as soon as they see the green shoots coming, as soon as they see confidence coming back into the economy, they'll have the confidence that a lot of people have got cash ready to invest, but they're not going to invest until they see that we're through most of it. And I reckon by the end of 2009, we'll be coming to the bottom of it. 2010 will be coming out and people will start to invest. But we've got two years of hard times to go through. And do you think the region can survive? The region has to, well, it always will survive, but I think what we have to do after this is look basically at the region and its indigenous problems. Because there's, in my lifetime, the last 50 years, there's billions been spent in this region to get enterprise started, to help new industries, etc., etc. Now, suddenly again, when the unemployment figures were announced recently, 7.4%, probably 8.8% now, but top of the league table of unemployment. That shouldn't be with all the money that's been spent. I've asked politicians and economists, why are we top of the league table again? Nobody's given me an answer. So when we get out of this, it's time to say to ourselves, you know, how can we stop being a dependency culture? How can we learn basically, when can we get to the point where we can survive by our own initiatives and by our own income generated? We're always going to need cash for the infrastructure, the roads, the railways, etc., etc. But we need to develop the family businesses in this area. They're the basis of economic life. And we've got to help each other and go on from there. And I also would just echo the words of Kennedy when he said, think not what the region can do for you, but what you can do for the region. And it is imperative that that is the message your paper gets over to everybody in the region. In the region, not just in the Newcastle, but from Berwick down to North Tees. That's the region. And that's what we're fighting for.